Hello there! I'm Finn, and today, I'm doing my predictions for Wrestlemania 40, Night 1 and 2. Why? I like wrestling, and I want to do some wrestling stuff on this channel, so why not? Uh, I've got the matches uh, pulled up as of April 1st at 8.24 a.m. Stuff, cards are subject, subject to change at all times in wrestling, it's weird. Uh, but I'm going to start at the bottom and just work my way up. First match on the card right here is Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill, and Naomi versus Damage Control. Uh, really weird name. Weird theme song. Uh, Dakota Kai, Asuka, and Kairi Sane. Uh, I see Jade pinning Dakota. They're not going to have Jade's first match be a loss, right? I mean, she lost the Rumble, but does that, that doesn't count. Uh, next matchup, United States Championship Triple Threat. Logan Paul, Randy Orton, and Kevin Owens. Uh, I see Orton maybe hitting a, an RKO on Kevin, and then Logan throws him out and covers him. Uh, or vice versa, maybe the opposite. Maybe Orton takes a stunner. And hell, may, maybe they do something crazy and let uh, Logan Paul take a package pile driver from Owens, but that won't happen. My, uh, hmm... It's between Logan and Randy. I don't see Kevin winning. It's Randy's first Mania back. It's only Logan's second title defense. I think Logan wins, but he pins Kevin. Uh, next match on the card, Jey Uso and Jimmy Uso. Uh, Jey wins. I feel like... That's like the natural progression is for Jey Uso to, to beat Jimmy, but shenanigans, probably solo, maybe a solo interference. Uh, maybe a big Rikishi moment close to the end. I'd love a good Rikishi pop. Uh, next match that we've got written is LA Knight versus AJ Styles. Could go either way. Both guys are similar ages. Knight's new, newer to, like, the WWE fans. They're both from TNA. Um, I think it's going to be a good AJ Styles match and a great LA Knight match. Not great for AJ, though, because he can have a lot better. Nothing against LA Knight, but his, his, his gimmick carries him a lot. Um, it's going to be LA Knight's first Mania match. It's his first time showing up at a Mania um, I think LA Knight wins. Uh, my oh, fuck, but AJ, mm, AJ's only had two matches since he came back and he's lost both of them. Hell, I think he took the pin in the four way. Uh, I don't know. It feels like both should win, but it's Triple H. So he's not going to let it be like a halfway DQ thing. I say... LA Knight pins AJ Styles. Next up is probably the hardest to predict. Uh, Judgment Day, Finn Balor and Priest versus Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa DIY versus Awesome Truth, Miz and R-Truth versus Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, New Day versus Theory and Grayson Waller. Versus Don and Tyler Bate. Um, I feel like there's a team missing off of this. Because I thought it was 16 people or something. Uh, I think they either split the belts and have one person pull down the red, one person pull down the blue. In which case, Awesome Truth gets red, DIY gets blue. If one, if one team pulls both down, it's going to be Awesome Truth. I don't think they're going to split them in a match. They probably do it in like a segment. Or maybe like a gauntlet match. That'd be kind of cool. First team to like pin the champs gets the other belt. I don't know. Um, Miz and Truth win both belts is my final assumption on that. Next up, the first women's match of the card. Is it? No, it's not. First match was the the six man, six woman, six woman. Io Sky versus Bailey for the WWE Women's Championship. Bailey's winning, I think. 
It'll be her. I think it, it'll be her first ever Mania win, ever, which is crazy considering she's been in the company since like she was in the PC in 2010. I think that's wild. She's been there for like over a decade and she's never won at Mania. Crazy. She's been on the main roster for like eight years now. Shit. But yeah, uh, Bailey wins via Roseplant, Penzio, a lot of shenanigans from Damage Control before the ending, I would assume. Maybe maybe somebody comes out to save Bailey. Maybe she just fights him off herself. I think she wins by pinfall. Uh, Gunther versus Sammy for the IC title. I, I'm lost. I don't know who wins that. Because I think the only person who should beat Gunther is... Chad Gable. Story, great matches. I think Gable and Gunther should have like an hour-long Iron Man match on a random Raw. Hell, Raw after Mania, I don't care. Looking 60-man Iron Man match, 60-minute Iron Man match, just like in the last seconds, it's like th like three, like a uh, fucking five to five. Like Gable has just kept out maneuvering Gunther. Like he takes pins, he passes out stuff like that but he keeps catching up with him whether it's like oh we get him with a count out again or he rolls him up and gets the three or something and then at like the last second he gets like an actual pinfall via chaos theory and then he becomes icy champ but they keep comparing sammy to rocky they keep calling him rocky balboa and by that logic uh, Gunther has to lose, but I don't think Sammy should be the one to beat him. And I say that because Sammy's been IC champ three times. He's a three. He's a three-time IC champ. What does he get from beating Gunther? I think he should lose, which sucks because I love Sammy Zayn. He main evented last year. He should be at the top of the card, but. Gunther wins, uh, he has so many finishers, I don't know, he could win by a splash, a powerbomb, a clothesline, I think, he pins Sammy, power bombs him, one, two, three, I think, mm. uh, Night one, Rock and Roman versus Cody and Seth. If the Bloodline wins, blood are, Bloodline rules are for the main event of night two. If Cody and Seth win, the, then it's a normal match, I guess. Um, I think Rock and Roman win. I don't think they pin Cody, which means Seth is going to get pinned at least once for this Mania. And I, I don't... I feel like that kind of like fucks over night two if Cody if Seth is going into his match with Drew already down a pin. So maybe I don't know. The Rock's not taking a pinfall or a submission, especially not from somebody who isn't Roman. He might he might do the job for Cody over the next year, but like he's not fucking he's not getting pinned at Mania by like Seth Rollins. Or a version of Cody that isn't champion. Roman, if he loses, then he wins tomorrow. Like, there, there's no way they're giving Roman two pinfalls. Cody... I can see them maybe doing a thing where, like, it's... Seth is, like, on the outside, and Cody takes a spear, and then, like, a people's elbow, and loses because he got double-teamed without Seth around. Or maybe Seth turns on him. He takes a curb stomp, people's elbow or something. Uh, Rock and Roman are definitely winning. I don't think Seth is turning on Cody. Maybe they injure Seth close to the end of the match. And that leaves Cody by himself. Which causes him to take a shit ton of offense from Rock and Roman. Where he gets pinned by Rock... That way, Roman doesn't get to say he beat Cody. Um, next, that, that's my final thing. I think I think Rock pins Cody. 
Either Rock pins Cody or Roman pins Seth. Rock pins Cody. Uh, next match is Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch. Rhea wins by pinfall, I think. That's what I want to happen. Uh, I want Rhea to beat Becky. Uh, don't be a pussy about it, though. Last year, they had, like, the best fucking... Last year, they had... My top ten match has no, like, Western females on it. My top ten matches of all time, there's no Western females. Last year, that changed. Because of Charlotte and Rhea. The only females that were on my, on my fucking list were Japanese. Now that match is on there because it's so fucking good. They should have a fucking barn burner that demolishes the rest of the card. So yeah, Rhea should win. It shouldn't be some pussy shit where she walks out and wins in five minutes, though. Uh, night two, Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. Drew wins. Drew wins. Drew's a winner. Drew wins. Drew simply goes out there and he wins. They're going to have a banger. Seth is going to be hurt. And then that sets up Seth for a rematch due to the fact that he loses after f fighting on night one. He's going to be like, well, I, I wasn't at full power. And then they're going to fight again, and Drew's going to kill him. Uh, I think Damian Priest tries to cash in. Doesn't work, though, because Drew says, oh, fuck you. Or hell, maybe they give CM Punk a moment if he can hit a GTS. Maybe fucking Damian runs out to cash in, and Punk just, tink, GTSs him. But uh, Drew wins. Drew wins, and he leaves Mania Champion in front of people. Huge pop when it happens, too. Final match, Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. It's hard. Because last year, I said Cody was going to win. I said there was no way in hell Roman won. And then Roman pinned him. And then at SummerSlam, I said, well, fuck, they're not giving it to Cody. I guess Jay's going to win. And he pinned him. And back at Elimination Chamber, I said, they're going to strap this motherfucker to, they're going to strap this belt to fucking Sammy. And then he pinned him. So, I don't trust a Roman Reigns match anymore. I just can't. Uh, because, like, Cody should win. But will he? Because, I think in August, it's like August, like, 12th or something, Roman will break Hogan's record. And the Big Dub loves to throw around big numbers. Like, this is the person with the most championship reigns. This person has this many days. I think somebody on their roster with the longest reign since 1981 or whatever will make them happier than saying Cody has the belt. Which I'm not happy about. And I, I said on Twitter, if Roman wins clean, he like no interference, he just straight up beats Cody clean, I'll get a Roman Reigns tattoo. There's no fucking way that happens. My prediction is Cody, Rain, Cody Rhodes wins on like his third crossroads, bloodiest shit, kills him, just dead. And then Roman's off TV for like a year. Yeah, Roman's gone for like... Roman leaves after Mania. We do not see him on anything until, like, until the Rumble. He shows up at the Rumble and just kills everybody in the world title picture. And then, as he's killing everybody, he comes out on, like, SmackDown or Raw for a ratings pop or whatever. And then out comes The Rock and they hit it off and then they end up fighting at Mania. Uh, but I think Cody beats Roman for the belt. So then we leave Mania... Where Rhea stays champion, Logan stays champion, and Gunther stays champion, and that's it. Every other title in the show is going to change. Unless they randomly throw another match on, but they would never do that, right guys? They would ne- Fuck, what was that? That's so little matches for how, for a two-night show. They're definitely going to add matches to that. They're randomly going to be like- Six pack challenge winner faces the Rhea Ripley at Payback or whatever. It's gonna be like Nia Jax and Alexa Bliss and fucking Gigi Dolan and shit. It's like 
they're gonna randomly throw some shit like that. Like last year, the the tag match that was a banger. Uh, the thing with the tag team that won got to face the champs. Like that match slammed. It wasn't sp like we didn't know it was on the card until like that Friday. So they could randomly add like seven matches because I'm recording this Monday. Hell. In about 12 hours, they could be like, <gasps> Cody Rhodes will face fucking Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso at the beginning of night one. And if he loses, he can't be in the tag match or some shit. Like, they'll randomly throw shit out like that. So, maybe every single match I predicted will dissipate. Hell, maybe on Raw tonight, they're going to be like, Sam Punk's the special guest ref. And I'll have to be like, well, fuck. My prediction's out the window and blah, 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 blah. But... With that being said, that's how I would book the show. Because I'm better than the WWE. Well, not Triple H. He's good. I'm better than Vince. Fuck that guy. Anyways, I'll see you cheeky bastards later. <laughs>